all it takes is just one storm. Here we go, a beautiful quiet start this morning, taking that view from Jensen Beach, sunrise a little after 6.30 a.m. and then a long day ahead, we'll see the sun set a little after 8 p.m. 82, so a little bit warmer along the coast. We have a northwest breeze, we have some showers and some storm activity, mostly offshore, dry conditions on land. Might have noticed over the weekend, it was very pleasant over the past couple mornings, but it did heat up very quickly. We had low humidity, dry air, low dew points, and that tends to heat up faster than if the air is a little bit more or moist, but we are looking at the chance to see a few showers develop later in the day today. Temperature is waking up. We have the mid 70s across the board, and that's pretty much near average for this time of the year. Now, Green Acres, as we go hour by hour for you, temperatures will be heating up into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. But take a look by around three o'clock, an isolated thunderstorm can't be ruled out. So same story there along Loxahatchee, Wellington, inland communities. We could see a few showers developing later today, and then temperatures back into the low 80s as we head towards the evening hours, but overall it's going to be a beautiful one. Expect what we had over the weekend to last throughout today, but wetter weather is on the way. It's going to get a little bit more unsettled as the days go by, especially Tuesday throughout the remainder of the work week there. So future track showing quite start to your morning. A few spotty showers by around lunchtime, one or two near Lake Okeechobee and with the daytime heating, an isolated thunderstorm or two can't be rolled out either. We should see maybe a couple downpours along Stewart to Hope Sound, even down towards Jupiter Beach. So even Juno Beach by around two o'clock this afternoon and then that shower does shift southwards driven by a northerly wind rest of the evening though looking great to be out and about heading into the day tomorrow we start off nice and dry maybe an isolated shower and hugging the coast and then by the afternoon a little bit of a different pattern We'll see sea breeze showers developing up and down 95 and the turnpike scattered in nature. Some of the showers travel off towards the coastal areas. Heavy rainfall at times throughout your Tuesday. Localized street flooding could be an issue since it's been pretty saturated over the past week with all the rain that we had last week. So that's the snapshot of your Tuesday around 6 o'clock heading into the overnight Wednesday morning. Another round of shower activity likely. So we are going to enter a more unsettled weather pattern as we could see maybe an area of low pressure developing by the end of the week near the state of Florida. So upper or right, right around 50% coverage there for your Wednesday, Thursday, looking to be an impact day with more widespread showers and some thunderstorm activity. So as I mentioned, very unsettled, meaning it's going to be on and off rain starting midweek. Could have some heavy downpours at times throughout your Tuesday, even into your Wednesday, starting off with a soggy start, a little bit of a break. And then look what happens late Wednesday afternoon. Scattered rain moves through the area. And then even Thursday, we are looking at an impact weather because of the heavy rainfall and the chance to see a few storms developing across the state of Florida. Beach and boating for today sees around two to four feet. High rip current risk, so just be careful if you are heading out to the beaches. Mid 80s in the forecast on this Memorial Day, so it is going to be a warm one with a few lingering clouds and a chance for a few spotty showers. Rain coverage kicks in Tuesday later half of your day and then impact weather Wednesday, Thursday. Heavy rainfall at times. Temperatures because of the rain and the clouds only near average in the upper 80s.